Hey y'all, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. Today we are drinking Mango Milkshake IPA from Honky Tonk Brewing Company out of Nashville, Tennessee. Thanks for joining us. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. If you are checking out this video or one of our videos for the first time, definitely appreciate that. Uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell if you like what you see. If you are coming back, we definitely appreciate you doing so. We don't know if you're coming back for the beer reviews or for the witty banner or for Andy's great hair, which Jay and I are very jealous of. Uh, but also, you know, check us out on the social medias below. Uh, Is that a week? Discord. You know, I mean, <laughs> that, we may have to we may have to do a pull test on that the next time we're all together. Um, I've got it. <laughs> don't I've got ever it. say that again, okay? <laughs> that sounds so horrible. <laughs> I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay. I'm Ben. What are we drinking today? <laughs> Mango milkshake IPA. I hear it brings all the bends to the yard. <laughs> From Honky Tonk Brewing Company out of Nashville, Tonk. Tennessee. This is going to be fun. One. Very curious about this one. Um, I've never had a Honky Tonk. Milkshake. It is... A micro and man, did I tell you, it is bare bones on their website. It is bare bones, and they're only open two days. Their tap room is only open for two days. It's like one to six on Saturday and Sunday, or something like that. Or yeah, I went looking for an image of a can or logo and had to take my own picture. So uh, there is an older one from I looked on there. Their web their website again is bare bones and it was uh, I had to scroll through some old um, what do you call it social media images so it looked like almost like an Instagram photo but it was their 2018 sticker can sticker you know from it but back then they were using different hops in the one that this jar or this can says this thing's chunky. Nope. Look at the chunk chunks floating in there. Oh, flocculants. There you Lots say. of flocculants. Yeah, I mean, there's... I don't know. Can you see that? Look on mine. See? See? Floating in there? Yeah. I mean, I can see it in mine. Wow. Well, hey. That's exciting. Any day now, Jack. Oh, oh. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Sorry, I got excited about the chunks. Understandable. Understandable. So it's got uh, mangoes, lactose, or like they say, milk sugar, and vanilla bean. It is double dry hopped, a hazy IPA, 7.5%, uses Comet and I want to say Harillo. I can't roll my R's. The J A R R Y L O, or is it Jarillo? But I doubt it's Jarillo. The double R makes me think it's more Spanish, like Jarillo hops. Anyway, right, we'll that, we'll, get, we'll run with that, right? Yeah, um, they're um, they use different, like I said earlier, they use different hops in older versions. This um, this brewery started in 2012. They focus on sours and IPA, and man, that's really? all I could find. They've been around wow. since 12. Yeah. That's surprising. So yeah, 11 no, years no. or so, and they have such limited information and whatnot on their website. Yeah. Wow. It says it's um, got a kind of like a smoothie, like a fruit smoothie mouthfeel. It's Chunky definitely thick. Mouthfeel. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely and, thick. And the lactose. <clears throat> yep. And sweet. Man, that's crazy. I don't have the the chunks that you guys have. I mean, you swirl you your can. Do you not see mine floating? I don't have anything left. A in little. There. You see all those white specks in mine? I see yours, yeah, but mine's not. I don't have. <clears> I don't have that. 
So, hmm. oh, luck whoa. of the draw. Oh, golly. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. yeah, exactly. Yeah, now you're there with me. <laughs> it's like a lava lamp. I was about, yeah. that was exactly <laughs> what I was about to say. Like, yeah, I mean, is that a lava lamp? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, man. I'm yeah, full already. Uh, yeah. There you <laughs> go. Something else. Whoa, yeah, wait until you get to the bottom of the can. Yeah. Oh, wow, look really at that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, it's funny because I, I my can is empty and I've got none of that. I mean, wow, look at that. So that's just crazy. I, what am I missing out on? A few, a few extra the calories. Tofu. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the flocculants, Ben. Well, wow. All right. Who brought, who brought this one to us? I got it. Uh, when I was going through Chattanooga, I stopped at a beer store and picked it up. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> you good, bro? <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and make the assumption that nobody's actually had this previously. No. Never had a honky tonk. Although I did have a honky tonk, one of their IPAs, um, about almost three years ago. Uh, when my local beer store was open, I, I got it from that and logged it. Huh. Yeah, so they at least distributed North Mississippi at the time. At wow. one point in time, huh? mm-hmm. yeah. All right, well, let's uh go around and give this one a a number here. Uh, Flocculent J, why don't you go first? <laughs> yeah, I'll jump in. Uh, you know, it, it has a great flavor. It's a a good hazy. Um, I like some flocculents, mm-hmm. but to the to the level of this one is, it's a little disconcerting. <laughs> um. It, it's it's good to me. Uh, I, if I was drinking out of the can, I wouldn't even know this. So I got to look at it from that standpoint. Um, but how often do you drink from the can? Uh, uh, you'd be surprised. A lot of times I drink from the can. Yeah. Um, you know, most of the time when, when we're drinking together, I'm going to put it in a glass just because we're evaluating things. And I want to take a, <clears throat> a harder look at it. If it's something fancy or or something unique that i want to see like a a really great ipa or a hazy like this and yeah i'll pour them in a glass but if it's something that i've known it's an ipa or just you know something i pick up the day drinking type i'm not gonna typically pour them in a can or i mean a glass so uh that said i mean this is this is good i love the flavor on it uh, I'm just gonna have to go with the seven, though. The the flocculence brings it down for you, huh? I don't know that it necessarily brings it down. I mean, that's that's pretty much where I'd rate this either way. Um, it, it's kind of an easy drinking. It doesn't seem like a seven and a half. It's hazy. It's good. It's. <clears throat> I'm not. I, I'll I'll phrase it this way. I've never been a huge milkshake IPA fan. I don't like things that typically have lactose in them, but that's just just my personal preference. Gotcha. Um, all right, I will go next since uh, Andy provided this one for us. Um, I, you know, it definitely comes off to me very sweet. Like th- that's the first sip I took. It was I felt like I was drinking almost some sugar. You know. Um, and it's calmed down a little bit and uh, I get a little bit, just a touch of the, of the bitter uh, on the back end, but not much at all. I mean, it's, it's just barely there. Um, I don't have the flocculants, you know, not that it would, would bother me, but uh, again, I, I still don't see any in mine at all, uh, which is. It's okay. I, mean, I made that for it and been yeah, looking at the bottom I, of my glass. Exactly. I think you got all of mine, <laughs> um, but I mean, man, it is thick. It has a sweet taste to it. Mango is obviously uh, definitely an ingredient that you can pick up out of it. Um, and uh, I think this is one that that I, I enjoy. Um, uh, and I think it's one that is probably a one and done. You know, you're not going to 
you get a four pack or a six pack of this or whatever, you're not going to sit around and drink two or three of them in a night. You know, at least I'm not. Um, but I think it has a good flavor and I think it's interesting enough uh, that I would definitely want to have it again. Um, I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Being raised an IPA higher than that did. Yeah. I agree. It is heavy feeling. <clears throat> seven and a half isn't the, the highest of alcohol contents, but it feels heavy not based on the alcohol you taste, but just that lactose bringing it down. I like the haze. And I don't mind a milkshake IPA. Uh don't mind the chunks. It's uh it's a good good flavor. It really cuts that bitter. So you don't definitely don't get much of that. I um uh, I drink it again, but not on the same night. It's yeah. uh, I'm already I'm maybe halfway and I'm full. <laughs> I'm full. Uh I give it a seven and a half as well. I uh, I like it. I got another one to drink. So save it for any day. <laughs> Interesting to see. And maybe you you can post this in the Discord <laughs> when you have that one, uh, at the flocculence of that one, because I can see from the bottom of the glass there that uh of yours when you turned it up there it seemed to have a, a fair amount yeah, yeah i mean you so can't it's just it's that. just <clears throat> i mean that yeah. i've got i've got none yeah. you know gee i mean we've got flocculence envy i mean it's just zero so it'd be interesting to see that because <clears throat> i'm guessing this came in a four pack right yeah so you know so your can was more towards the the top of the <clears throat> the vat when it came off and ours is more towards the bottom yeah there you go all right that is going to give us a 7.3 for the mango milkshake ipa from honky talk out of nashville uh definitely a a very uh well named brewery uh being that it is in nashville um uh, but hey uh if you out there have had honky tonk beer, uh, let us know what you think about some of them. Um, obviously, this is, I think, the first one other than Andy said he had had another one, but uh, I had not really even heard of them before uh, we got this beer. So um, definitely excited to, to try something. And I think we came away with one that, um, you know, we all uh, enjoyed. So uh, with that, again, be sure to like, subscribe and cheers that notification bell. Check us out on the social medias. Come see us in Discord. We will definitely report on the flocculence of that last uh, beer that Andy has. Whenever he cracks it open, he will he will report there from the attic. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I think uh, we've got to get you some kind of news desk up there or something. But the latest flocculence uh, report. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> radar. Uh, for Andy in the attic and Jay, I have been. This was an interesting one. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.